The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, hello, uh, Abhijit, if you're there, can you just confirm if uh, everybody in Delhi is along with you or you're the only one? Hello? 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 Sir, I'm here alone. Like, uh, Abhijit, I can't hear you. I'm on the top floor. Uh, because I'm in mute mode, I guess, from your side. Abhijit, looks like you know there's some kind of a problem in your line. Can you maybe just in the chat confirm if you're able to hear me well and uh, do you have everybody with you there? Okay, I'm just, uh, I can't see the chat option. I think uh, this is because of... Meanwhile, uh, let me also check with the Bangalore team. Uh, Bangalore team, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. We are there, sir. You are able to hear me, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Yesterday we have discussed about this plumbing. What are the major parts in plumbing and what are the fixtures we use and what kind of fittings we need to use and uh, what is plumbing. So now we will go with Revit. How to place the plumbing pictures and uh, how to create the pipe routing. So here in plumbing, just uh, we have the different kind of uh, fittings as we discussed yesterday, just for review. Wash patients. kitchen sinks floor drains and different kind of pipe fittings T, elbow, Y fitting and uh, traps okay and in plumbing, we use this kind of fittings. Now we will go through drawings and revit. So I would like to show how we receive the design CAD file in plumbing. So, drainage system I'm going with level 2.
if we check here I hope everybody clear this one. Here, if you see this line, this is a drain to carry wastewater. This is connected to sink. And this is the flow drainer, flow trap. See here, given direction. In which direction this pipe should be connected? Generally, this sanitary pipes will go below this lab with certain slope. Normally we use slope for sanitary pipes 1 is to 100. To maintain the slope, they indicated this arrows. Here, if you see this symbol, one, two, three, four. We have the four pipes here. One is the diameter one ten, and one is the seventy five. Again, one is the one ten and one ten. This means from above. F slash A means from above. F slash B means from below. So uh, according to this terminology we need to draw where it's going. And we should follow this diameter of the pipe. If we observe the things, first we need to place the plumbing pictures. Sink, WC, wash basins, and floor drains. So first in Revit, we will go with plumbing pictures. How to place the plumbing pictures and how to connect the plumbing pictures. Here, have the rabbit. Okay. To start the plumbing project, we need to take plumbing template new project go to plumbing default template open this we know save as other things so here I have already created file now here I am going to place a plumbing pictures. Here we have ribbon called plumbing and piping. The same ribbon we use for piping of HVAC, piping of plumbing pictures and piping of fire protection. 
only different thing is we will select the system as we required. For example, now we are with plumbing. So now I am going to place the few plumbing pictures. Here I have the different kind of plumbing pictures. Now I am going to press one sink. Okay. This is sink. When I selected the sink, it's asking where I need to place, whether on vertical face or face on the place on the face, I mean horizontal face or work plane. Here, just I will place on work plane and I explain a little bit about it. Now, I place in work plane. Okay. Just I am taking one section here. See where it plays. It's placed below the level. We need to give the offset or we can move it. When I am trying to move it, it's only moving to horizontally. It's not coming to vertically. Here we need to take this giant. It means it disconnects the internal properties. This is one thing. And particularly this thing, when I am trying to, sorry, when I am trying to place the sink, it asking three, three options. One is a place on vertical face, place on face, and work plane. Why it's asking? Okay, where from where it's controlling. So if we edit this family, we created this is in face based family. Okay. And here we have the type property. is face. So when we are trying to place this component always it will ask for face because we have created face based family. In Revit we have a different kind of families one is the hosted, non hosted. Here host is a face. We need to remember here one thing. We have created this family on face based. Okay. And same thing as yesterday we discussed about this connectors. Okay. This is domestic cold water. Another one is domestic cold water, domestic hot water, this is sanitary. So here we have the three classifications. See if you observe the another property here flow direction is specified as in. Okay.
in means nothing but supply to sink okay here why we have created in means this sanitary water will go into sanitary pipe for that reason we are given in i'm closing it see now here i am going to draw one wall here just i'm changing the properties to top constraint level 2 now i'm going to insert the plumbing which is sun vertical face or place on the see the difference so here we are the wall okay plumbing features sink is on the face it's taking the face only okay so we need to align to the wall if we lock this fixtures it will move along the wall we know well about it okay why we need to create this family as face based because generally this wash basins will connected to one flat pump to place on platform generally we will create the face based family so i am going to place another plumbing features wc if i press the space bar we can rotate we are much aware about it okay and i am going to draw another wall here if you see the sticks we place on the floor now we need to connect this from the pictures here just we will check what is about this family edit family okay here we don't have any connectors so we don't have any connectors this is purely architectural family 
for any MEP component should have connectors. Without connectors, we cannot draw pipe from that component. Okay, so we need to place the connectors. Edit family. I am going to add one connector here. Bottom of the sink. So pipe connector. I am taking this face. Okay. And I am going to this is sanitary. Okay, diameter I will take hundred mm. Load into project. It's a test file. If you see, we got the plumbing connector. See here. Now I am going to draw one sanitary pipe system. I am taking one pipe. Now I am in level 1. Actually before starting this any MEP discipline whether plumbing and HVAC whatever it may be we should insert our Revit link or oh, sorry architectural model as link. So just to discuss about the concept and the things I am not inserted architectural model here. And here, if we take the pipe, here we have the diameter. Okay. And here also we have the diameter and the pipe segment. What type of material we should use? That called pipe segment. And this system type, sanitary. In plumbing, we have the different type of system. One is the Generally in plumbing, domestic cold water, domestic hot water and sanitary will cover. If you take the hydronic return, hydronic supply, it will cover it HVAC piping. Okay, here now I am taking the sanitary. <coughs> yes. Here, edit type and routing preferences or pipe preferences. I need to select the material. Okay, first sanitary we use polychronite schedule AIT most of cases. Okay. And PVC. Sometimes we use HDPE also. For example, according to my design, I should use HDPE. But here I don't have that segment HDPE. How I need to take? See, here I don't have the HDPE. So in another project, I have created HDPE. I want to import that HDPE pipe into this project. Here, as we discussed yesterday, we can create the pipe segment and pipe types according to manufacturer designs. Okay. In the same way, I created HDPE in other project. I want to bring that HDPE pipe to this project. So. Here, I already opened that project. I'm closing it. This is wastewater and pipe segment HDPE pipe. We take it, 
preferences here I created different types so just I can copy and paste there or I can do in the manage transfer project standards see from this project to current project so check none I need only pipe types pipe segments schedule types pipe types five setting five system types okay just okay it will transfer to PL. <clears throat> okay, transfer is complete. For example, let us check system and taking a file. Hit sanitary edit type here I got HDP and different kind of pipes okay. generally while starting the project we define the template a particular project or particular company because different different companies use in different different standards in if we if we coming into the design consultancy so according to those requirement we will create the templates where we get the default template with Revit it it will not have much information so we need to manipulate and we need to create some requirements according to our project so now I transferred the five types and segments from that project to our present template so now I'm going with HDP yes <coughs> connection type is T and elbow elbow also bend welded HDP T preferred junction type T and junction the family we need to select Here welded generic is okay. Fine. Cross and transitions. Okay, I'm keeping as it is. Okay. Okay. Let me draw one pipe in here. <coughs> See here. If you go into the 3D. This is my HDP pipe with a diameter of 150 mm. As we discussed, every sanitary pipe should have slope to get the gravity. Just time here. Now We'll take this pipe system type is the sanitary and diameter is 150 okay we remember we have created connector 100 just I'm connecting one frame drawing like this okay elevation of this pipe is 2750 
but it should be below this slab. Here, if we go into the section, pipe will run below the level. So this pipe is not visible on floor plan. So we need to control view range or here we have the plumbing plan template. Apply. Okay. Even though it's not visible. So we need to control the view range here. Okay. Here view depth I need to below level or I need to give the how much depth is that's the now it will be visible okay. see here we need to remember one thing every plumbing pipe should have the slope now if we observe this we don't have any slope this elevation is 3 3 here also 303 okay here we need to draw the pipe with slope. I am moving a little side. Create similar. Okay. Here we have the option slope. Slope up and slope down. Okay. My offset is minus 300. I'm so drawing the pipe from here to here. Sorry, pipe slope minus 300 should have the slope down. Here we need to take the one standard or one percent. Then done. Okay, let us check this side. We are getting the slope. See. Now our pipe is with one is one percent or one is two hundred slope. One is two hundred means one percent. Okay, we can increase the slope if we require here. See here we have the connector. Okay. Again we can do one thing here connect info like that. What will happen? Let's see. Go into this. It's connected from here to here. Okay, it's directly connected with T, and pipe says it under, and it will be the we will get the reducer here. Here, if you think once again, just I'm going to section. It's connected like this according to slope okay but as we discussed we should have the trap for any fittings okay now we got the direct elbow here but we need traps either u or p or s whatever it as that the requirement okay. so how to insert the trap here Just if we check the fittings, we have only help us. Okay. Let us check in families whether we have the traps in this project or not. Plumbing pictures. 
five fittings. Bang, bang, T. We don't have the traps here, so we need to load. Okay. Here I'm going to proposal fixtures. For this, okay. Bend cap T. Here we don't have the traps in this system. Just I'm checking for the Traps. I guess we don't have. And savings also we don't have. No, these are the walls. So actually few of the families not downloaded while installing. So I will explain theoretical way. Here if I take the pipe rating, see we are the one handicap. If I select the pipe here at end It will place like thing. In same way, we can select the traps where we get the connection here. Okay. Tomorrow I I will show you. I will collect the trap and I will show you how to place the uh, traps. Okay. So as of now we will discuss how to draw the plumbing. See here, just 
here I taken and taken this connect info. For example, if I want to draw manually, I need to take section. So just I'm moving it a little bit for better understanding. Go to view. My pipe is here. Okay. Here I will take this pipe. If we have the traps, I will add the trap here like this. And I connect this pipe to this. Let's see. It will connect like this. Okay. And if you want to place a Y. Sorry, pipe fittings. this kind of file this will be connect like this okay for example this is my floor plan here I'm taking go to view. So I want to draw the vertical pipe, okay? Like this. And this is my vertical pipe. And I'm moving this section to here. <coughs> For example, here. I have the two levels. Okay. For our reference, I will create another level. the section okay here one connection is coming like this and one other connection connection is coming like this and main vent pipe will do go upside so here we need to place the Y fittings multi multiple with connections okay we can use different kind of Y's if you are getting one side we can take this kind of thing To press the tab here should go with the section fitting like this we can change the direction fitting second floor plan here we need to 
connected. Okay. Now we can connect our pipes. We can draw our pipes. It has very good slope like this. Okay. Or directly we can change into <coughs> different kind of fittings as we required. Okay. Then we need to continue the our vent pipe from here. In this way, we need to connect the sanitary pipe. Okay. And if you want to place the floor drain also, this is plumbing feature, and we have the Floor drain family. According to our size, you need to select the type and you need to place the floor drains. Again, it's asking a plain basin. Okay. For example, my floor drain is here somewhere. And I need to take the section again. Like this. main pipe is here so I need to draw the pipe like this here we need to adjust few things here we are getting the slope pipe and we need to draw a little bit length and need to adjust our slope. Okay. And we need to connect the pipe like this. Okay. This is our flow drain. <coughs> In this way, we need to draw the sanitary pipes. And if we take that hot water and cold water pipes, we can directly draw these pipes without slope. Say, so just to check here. more see here sanitary pipe will come to bottom and this hot water and cold water pipes come top of the ceiling or top of the, from top most of cases we will get the from top of the ceiling only To draw the pipes, we need to take the section again. Click here, have we got the things? See here, when I draw the horizontal pipe, still I am getting the slope. So we need to have the slope here. Delete. For this pipe also, we need to select the fittings. What we need exactly. Here, I can set 
ఓకే కార్బన్ స్టీల్ ఫార్టీ సంథింగ్ అండ్ ఎల్బో జనరిక్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఐ విల్ టేక్ క్రియేట్ సిమిలర్ లైక్ దిస్ see this is the domestic cold water and if you want to draw hot water this is my connected hot water okay these properties directly coming from connector which we placed in fab from here we can make the routing as we required like this like this okay sanitary wipe pipe will come to down and connect to this pipe okay otherwise we can do go to section draw sanitary pipe and go to another side of this one we connect we can connect as we required slope should be there like this fittings we may use are different as we required here we can use t or if you want we can use y also here this material is different and this material is different that's why you are not getting proper fitting otherwise we can change it to our sizes according to this pipe okay so while creating the 3d model we should concentrate about the materials where we need to use the schedule 40 and where we need to use a schedule 80 pipes along with the design drawings we will get the pipe materials and the schedules what up what type of pipe we need to use and what kind of schedules we need to use they will provide as a design data sheet for beam implementation part of it. So in the same way we need to place the all plumbing feature available. Okay, plumbing feature what we are available. we place the floor drain and uh, wc sink whatever we required we can place okay if you want to see with water closes and uh, urinal wall mounted okay i'm going with here i should have the wall just i'm placing here let's see this is the wall mounted here 
just we will discuss about this family here also what we created here this is, this is also it's a plumbing picture and face based okay here if you observe the things in this family category palette I will say this is a host okay this is a room calculation point please remember this point it's the most important thing here we have the omni class number and omni class title okay according to international standards we have the some unique numbering in BIM so we should take the proper template and proper classification to create the family we know BIM means we should use the proper components which is available in market this number omni class number we will collect from the manufacturer of, of this particular components okay if you want the proper implementation we should follow same omni classes and omni title say for urinals we have the this kind of number we will open another one I'm going to open this sink. Okay. See here what is there? Sink and lavatory. This is a omni class number. This is purely unique number. And uh, I said remember this room calculation point. If you place the if you take this room calculation point, we will get some point. Okay. This room calculation point is useful to identify the room where we have placed the particular component. Okay, if we take it, here also we'll get the room class okay in while taking the BOQR schedule with the help of room calculation point we can identify in which room it's located in same way for diffusers also we place the in HVAC we place the diffusers okay just we'll go with that one also Here I am taking the system department. <coughs> Systems, I am placing the air terminals. Just for example, here I have different kind of rooms. Yes. I am placing one door. So this is system place here. If I edit it, here also we will get the room calculation point. Okay. For example, if while taking the schedule, for example, this say room one and room two. Okay. We can identify in schedule this particular air terminal it belongs to so and so room because of this room calculation point okay so most of the families we need to place a room calculation point because so and so room how many diffusers are there so and so room how many uh, sinks are there in this way 
we can get the schedules. Okay. Here we need to place the family and we need to connect with different pipings. So why drawing the pipe? just for uh, understanding so we should concentrate about this all type of fittings okay see here I am taking one pipe here otherwise I have already exited pipe with ND cam when I split the pipe split okay I am getting the union or coupling. Where I will define this edit root preference here union. Okay. If I make it none union, I am taking another split. It will not take. So wherever two point pipes will connect there should be union okay some standard if i place here instead of all so let i will explain again now taking the split i'm getting it here this is my pipe size 100 mm okay i'm going to draw another pipe here with 40 mm okay this pipe is standard pipe and then this also standard pipe now i am taking edit type preferences union for all for example i keep it as a minimum is 50 and 600 if I take the split it will not take because we controlled the preferences from 50 to 6 600 now I am going to draw another pipe create similar I'm going with let's say ATM <coughs> sorry now if I take the split I will get the union in this option we can control the fittings also here I would like to tell one small information now here in modified menu we have the two options one is a split and a split with cap if I take the split with caps for ABP elements it will not work this split with gap purely for walls only I take the wall So in MEP, split with gap will not work. See, here if we observe the things, we in visibility walls are we are getting very light and MEP features with thickness thicker why we are getting this difference is here we have the display okay. if I place the discipline as coordination we can see 
everything in highlighted way. Coordination means combination of all services. If I place only architecture, I can see only architecture items. This is the mechanical template. Mechanical. Okay. Now it's a plumbing. See here. Here also, if you go to any customer place, most of the people will ask about this question marks. Why I am getting this question marks? I don't want this question marks. Most of the customers will ask this point. Here, if you see the things, I, I am in section one. Okay. In property, discipline is plumbing. Okay, and here we have the sub discipline. The sub discipline is in blank, so we need to change sub discipline also in plumbing. Then it will come to here. In this way, we can remove all the question marks. Sub discipline to plumbing. Say. Okay. This is the different options we have in plumbing. So systems plumbing pictures we have the different plumbing pictures. So now we are aware about plumbing picture how to place and uh, how to draw the plumbing pipe from the uh, pictures. Here, I want to draw one flexible pipe somewhere. Okay, so here I have the flexible pipe. Same like flexible duct only. We will get the flexible pipe and we can change diameters as we require. Okay. This is a visibility. Here we can draw multiple parallel pipes, but most of the cases it's a uh, not uh, useful in plumbing and piping in coming to the building services if you work in industrial kind of things sometimes it is required and uh, sometimes where we use this parallel pipes is this is nothing but array okay if we take the pipes it will show like this okay so, for example, horizontal numbers, uh, I make you 20, vertical numbers 10. Now we will get the kinds. number of pipes. Where we use this option is most, for example, if we observe the metro stations, we find the substations, electrical substations there. There, lot of wires we need to drag from the substation to outside. There, in designing of this substations, we need to provide the sleeves to the 
wall these are nothing but pipes so those cases we use this kind of parallel pipes okay that do not uh, this much of just 5 to 6 like this only so based on the situation we need to use that parallel pipes I can say most of case we will not use very rare case we will use those pipes here if we observe the pipes I am going to draw one pipe pipe not sanitary I am taking the hydronic supply return okay hydronic supply return means chilled water supply chilled water return right okay so here yeah. I need to add the insulation yesterday we discussed the adding the insulation to the duct same way this is a option will work okay only thing is we need to create the materials and we need to assign the materials to that like this here what will happen sometimes in, uh, in visual graphics we have the pipes okay we put up the say put up the pipe here all pipes are not visible but only this pipe is visible why we assigned insulation for this pipe so we need to put a pipe insulation also okay in MEP initial stages we will get confused about this insulation things in the case of just on off cases only not much okay if you go to the customer we may get this kind of uh, questions from the customers this is about the warming and uh, piping here I want to explain about a small thing I'm taking new project project taking the system default template <coughs> here we have the what to save as test 6 here we have the different disciplines in systems Ele electrical mechanical and plumbing okay mechanical for example I am in mechanical level 1 okay. here I am going to draw one pipe okay my system type I kept as sanitary it will not 
visible. Why? In mechanical, we have the only two type of system. One is a hydronic supply and hydronic return only. Supply, hydronic return. If we draw the sanitary pipe, it will not be there. Okay. We will control through VG filters. Yesterday we discussed about the filters, how to create the filters and how to use the filters. Replace sanitary icon visible here. Okay. Sometimes while working the project we may get confused. That's why I just I am the I am explaining about this issue. Same way if I take the plumbing, it's not visible in hydronic supply and hydronic return because we are manipulating in visual graphics filters okay we see in 3d everything will be visible in plumbing I would like to show one project which is completed already. So section box. This is a plumbing project. We have not placed in the plumbing pictures. Okay. Why we not placed plumbing pictures? Any guess? Most of the plumbing features we placed in architectural model. So while doing this project, we link the architectural Revit model and we continue working on this plumbing. So that's why we not place the plumbing features. See, here we can just, we can see the different kind of pipes and how we connected so why this handicap this is a different kind of walls Here also we can do autom automated uh, pipe sizing calculations like duct only. If you select the pipe, you will get the duct or pipe sizing. Same way we can use friction or velocity. Here we have the two options. In HVAC we have the four options. Okay, see. So, if you see this pipe, particle pipe, how we connected.
this is the floor plans how it looks in floor plans we have given line types also This is soil pipes. If you want to see this part of the pipes. If you place realistic, we will get that uh, materials. We know that one. Okay. In same way, I would like to show HVAC. Okay. How we did to open this project may take some time. Sample for the hospital. This is belongs to one hospital project. So far, I am explaining on the same project. Actually, we did this project in 2014. Now I am using 2016. So it's getting upgrade. If you see the completed project, just we will get some idea how it will be in Revit. Tomorrow session we can discuss uh, about the firefighting and electrical. It's a uh, taking some time. Uh, meanwhile, uh, 
where we can see one small uh, video how it will be technical room of the HVAC. Then in generally we have the technical room like this for air conditioning systems. These are the boilers to generate the hot hair. We will generate the stream in these boilers. We supply through hot coils. Actually, this is the HU. This is a chilled water connected to HU. The chilled water supply, chilled water return. See, here we have the drain. Here. <coughs> These are all insulations. Around 40 mm, minimum 40 mm thickness of the insulation we will use for the chilled waters. This is electrical panel board for HU. This is the insulation for supply duct. See, these are the pipe for uh, 
to pump the water from cooling towers. This is small uh, video to get aware of this technical room. We call as technical room, where So it has some problem. We close it. We will open another small project.
Okay, this is uh, another project. Actually, how HVAC we do in Revit. Okay, just to get an idea, I would like to show this information. Say here we have the diffuser, different kind of the diffuser, and here we have the beveled connectivity, and this is the damper, value control damper. Okay, along this pipe we have the chilled water supply and chilled water return. See here duct and piping clashing. Okay, we will discuss tomorrow about this, how to find out the clashes and all. How we need to do coordination and with uh, different disciplines, we will discuss. See, if you observe the things, here duct size is 400 by 350, here reducing, okay. Here we got the reducer. Okay. If I go to complete Revit model, actually in this project we have around 23 floors. Most of the things similar. Here if you observe the things, sometimes we need to use this kind of vertical duct also. From this vertical duct, we can give the direct connectivity to different floors. Here, if you see in floor wise, see so fire damper, VCD. Here, we can find one thing we place a fire damper here, so this means we have the wall here. Wherever we have the fire rated walls, we need to place the fire dampers. And we need to give the sizes like this with tagging. See, here this duct is at the offset of 3150. This is 2750. It means this duct is crossing above this duct. In this case, we are getting one hidden line. These settings we will find here. Manage. Systems. Mechanical settings. See, lunch tail MAP hidden and inside gap 0.5 mm, outside gap 0.5 mm, single line 0.5 mm. So, the duct settings. So, the pipe settings. Here we can see rectangular duct sizes. These hidden lines, if you want to reduce the size, increase the size. 
this is point five ml. If I go into the course, so actually we created this in central file, so still worksets are enabled. So that's why I'm able to change it. to go with other floor okay see if you observe the the all these ducts we know everything now how to take the duct size and how to draw the duct and how to place the diffusers and dampers and how to place the flexible ducts so now we can do detecting duct routing. This is here fan coil unit, FCU. This is nothing but HU, but it's a uh, e for this we don't use any chilly water supply. In this FCU, we use the represents like R12, R14. We have the represent in a fluid stage. So we use those gases and fluids in this FCU. From those coils, we will get the coolness and it will supply through fan. It's nothing but HU only. But here we will not connect the return. Some, sometimes we may connect a return, but most of the cases we will not connect. In heat load and cooling load calculation, we discussed about the plenum. Okay, means above the ceiling gap. So through plenum only it will take the return air FCUs most of the cases. Different kind of walls here. and tomorrow we will discuss about the firefighting system and electrical and how to how we do the interference check or clash detection so today I am going to close this session Thank you. So guys, uh, just to check if you know everything was okay today. Uh, Anju, was it okay today's presentation? Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, Anju, was it okay today? Hello. hello. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, hello. Yes, sir. Everything was fine. It oh. was working very well. Fine, fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, coming to Bangalore, Niranjan, was everything okay today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And uh, Sheetal, you had a question, right? You said, uh, yes. can you show uh, flow, uh, flow directions of uh, drainage pipes and plumbing? In the flow yes, plumbing. sir. That was your question. Yes, sir. So yeah. I yeah. have uh, Nagaraju maybe answer that. Just okay. So, uh, Nagaraju, in so, uh, Nagraju, in fact, uh, Sheetal from Mumbai actually yes, has a question. So she says, can we show flow directions of drainage pipes and plumbing? 
Revit flow plan. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, in Revit, there is no option to show the uh, flow directions, but manually we need to place the arrows. Okay. Sheetal, uh, was that clear? Okay. Yes, sir. No problem. That's what I wanted to ask you, whether we'll have to show it manually or it will be... Yeah, we need to, purely we need to show manually only, but okay. if you want to check the flow arrow, we have the option. Yeah. Just, that's for only purely checking. Okay. So present in uh, documents, we should place manually. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, thank you. so, what I can say is, you know, thank you all. So tomorrow again, you know, at one fifty-five we will meet. Fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you.